In this video, we will be briefly talking about pressure relief and pressure safety valves. Pressure relief valves, being a specific type of valves, are designed to protect the pressure system from overpressure. They are required to open at a predetermined system pressure, to discharge or let enter a specified amount of fluid so as to prevent the system pressure from exceeding a specified normal or subnormal pressure limit and to reclose after the normal pressure has been restored. Pressure relief valves must also be self-actuated for maximum reliability, except they are permitted by the applicable code of practice for specific applications. Most commonly used pressure relief valve type is direct loaded pressure relief valve in which the fluid pressure acting on the valve disc in the opening direction is opposed by a direct mechanical loading device such as a weight or spring. Pressure relief valve PRV, is an equipment which starts to work at the predetermined set pressure to hinder calamity during an overpressure event. In oil, gas and other related industries, there are two terms that are mostly led to the confusion, pressure safety valve PSV and pressure relief valve PRV. Indeed, these two terms are interchangeable, thus we can say that PRV and PSV are the same thing, like all PSVs are also called as the relief valves. Pressure relief valves are generally made use of to relieve fluid in case of excess pressure in the pipeline or in the equipment. PSVs are placed on the top of separators. Let's say equipment operation pressure is 50 bar but pressure exceeds this normal operating pressure and reaches to 60 bar. In that case, relief valve opens at predetermined set pressure and relieves the excess pressure. PSV's aim is to relieve excess pressure. They take the fluid away from the system by bringing it to the flare system to burn and remove that fluid from the system. What would happen if the let the fluid take its time to enjoy in the downstream of the isolated line with the valve? There would be drain line in the valve below the seat, or valve may have another drain line in the downstream, so that we may drain the leakage. However, we should not let the fluid just enjoy its time in the downstream if we have isolated that line through the valve. Let's take the simple example for better understanding. Assume that leakage occurs in the valve and we don't drain that fluid. In summer, because of the hot weather conditions, that fluid may be heated, which would lead to expansion and consequently explosion. Explosion is given as to describe one possible consequences. In general, pressure safety valves, PSVs, do not allow the situation to become that worse by relieving the excess pressure generated by the fluid that undergone the expansion. Here we end the brief informative session on pressure relief and safety valves. But to learn more on this and relevant topics, you can get into our website and enroll in our practical training courses.